hello guys uh, welcome back in this video i would like to show you the rock and uh, lava texture or uh, this is the hurt model which i have brought uh, into the substance painter and i have created this emissive map just by clicking that and choose emissive and then you get that map here created so once i have created this map i have got all that options here so we got a base color we got height we got a roughness metallic uh, is not required so base color height roughness is there uh, you can try adding a normal map and uh, this should be enough so to start with i would like to create a fill layer okay that's the starting point and i switch off everything except the height here and here i'm going to add a lot of fill layers so i'm going to choose the fill okay and then i will choose uh, um, again only height here okay you can switch you your layers to height and make sure that in you are in height and then choose this uh, cells texture okay so i'm using the cells texture which creates this nice height you can go to the noise parameters and control the edge width uh, to 0.2 maybe and then you can change the uh, noise parameters to 16 so that you get bigger pieces here okay so i want certain text uh, rocks to be low and certain rocks to be higher so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another fill layer okay and uh, i will switch off everything and then go to the height and then choose the cells here okay so this one i'm going to choose cells number four and then make sure that the noise parameters are 16 here too so what happens is i will blend this in a multiply blending mode and then uh, you will have I will uh, put this to height and then put this layers above and below and then start exploring the blending modes here and I'm choosing the blending mode which is darken and then if I see the material you get the rocks of different heights okay that's really and nice and then you have uh, the edge width you can increase the edge width to 0 0.5 and uh, now you can choose another uh, filter here on top of this and this filter can be a bevel filter or a blur filter okay so which will generally taper that nicely okay uh, you can now use another filter on top of it this should be a warp filter warp filter i'll be choosing the source parameters and source styling to 0 0.1 and then increase the intensity so that i get that nice distortion there okay so now let's take another filter on top of it this time we will take the uh, sl slope blur or blur slope okay and then you have uh, the intensity divider i'm going to choose this 10,000 i'll increase the intensity and then um, we have the source parameter source styling i'm going to put to 0 0.1 0 0.2 start exploring this values you can increase the intensity to make it look more rocky uh, you have custom texture input which is uh, here so you can choose a custom noise and then start uh, trying different noises here uh, like maybe I'll try the creased one okay the custom noise is on I'm increasing it 
and then we have parameters of it and then okay it's not working so let me try a dirt okay you can explore different textures i'm seeing which one gives me a decent look there okay so you got that nice texture there okay so you got some uh, some rough rock patterns there and uh, if i just go to the height this is what we have here okay so you can add uh, another layer on top of it which can generally give you um, some rocks uh, in the gap by adding a anchor point okay so we'll add an anchor point on top of it okay so this is fill layer one you can say a low freak uh, frequency height okay now let's uh, put another layer on top of it make sure that it's only for the height and in that we will add uh, a fill which is going to be uh, the cells again okay so let me choose this to height and make sure that again it's not uh, bothering our sorry I need to take that in um, in a wrong place I have taken okay so let me choose uh, the noise parameters and then choose it to 60 I, I just wanted a small rock edge width 0 0.5 then add a filter blur then add a filter slope blur and then intensity disorder to 10,000 or maybe 100 because rocks are too small that should be fine now I need to mask this okay so I'm going to add a oh, black or white mask whatever and then choose the anchor point uh, not anchor point sorry need to choose a fill and in fill we'll choose the anchor point and it is from the height so it, it's showing up uh, here right i want it to show here so i click inward and it shows up there and then so if you could see here uh, this uh, rocks layers fill layer has got the uh, levels if you start uh, adjusting that uh, levels you could able to see it's uh, just showing up only in certain area okay so you can do that and then we have uh, this blur slope uh, is too much so I'm going to reduce the intensity of that blur slope uh, to pretty much smaller let me explore a few other uh, options here
uh, actually it was creating some problem in the edges so i thought to use mask outline and then uh, you should able to see that sharp cut so i have to use this okay that looks uh, good and uh, I'll put this to zero and add a fill. And then choose this to height okay so what happens is this layer adds up this uh, thing I can enable the mask section let me try inward and then apply a blur on top of it okay so once i've added the blur i'm going to add a fill and then anchor point and choose this to multiply material and you should able to see that nice cavity there okay so so far it looks good now I'm going to add a cracks layer I'll add later I'll start adding colors now so I'll go to the base and then start giving some colors there so I'll be using um, one is the color with some nice blue tint okay and also I'll make it rough okay so I'll take another uh, fill and then it is also rough but slightly different and I'm going to add a mask to it and then mask I'll go to fill and then choose grunge textures okay uh, just try to identify a grunge texture and then make it uh, randomized okay that looks good now I'm going to add a layer on top of it sorry not smart material a layer on top of it this is going to be slightly glossy slightly less height and I'm going to take a dark emissive and normal not required so here let's put a black or white mush whatever it is add a fill and then choose marble so we have marble texture or we have low frequency and high frequency marble texture so i'm going to take the high frequency marble texture there okay and then i can go to the noise parameters and not noise a uh, scale I can increase the scale frequency so that cavities are pretty much shining like that so that's the rough rock um, it's, it's basically wet in some areas and that's good so far and now what we will going what we will do is we'll add that lava layer in between so I'm going to take a new layer and then I'm going to choose everything off and then choose emissive and then choose nice um, red color okay 
and now I'm going to choose a mask to it and fill in the fill the anchor point and I'll choose to height and then choose it to invert and then start adjusting the layers there like that I would like to duplicate this layer okay and I'm going to move it below okay and this layer I'm going to hide it and here I will create anchor point because the arrangement of anchor points is very important okay let me choose a fill and in that fill anchor point high frequency height that's the thing I wanted invert it that's one more detail super cool and I'll also choose mask here so that I can able to get what I am trying to achieve I'll try with different blending modes this should work yep this looks awesome okay so I've got this layer right I'm going to press ctrl D for duplicate and I'm going to take the warm color and what you will do here for this warm color is adjust the levels Like that so should able to see I've created this nice looking rock bed with cracks and lava inside it <laughs> 